by the way, for those of you who don't know, I record these and you can go to my YouTube channel and watch them when they are like later. I'll send that link out. Okay, so sit up to the edge of your finger. And we'll just take a moment to center ourselves, to set an intention for our practice. Oftentimes we will load a lot of other things in our mind, we'll put our to do list, or should have done this. Just for the next hour, try to stay present. Try to feel and observe. Notice the rise and fall of your chest as you breathe. Observe the rhythmic pattern. How it's relaxing. Keeping your body just as it is, just turn your right, your um, chin towards your right shoulder. And never forge anything, especially your neck. Take a breath or two here when you're turning your head. Bring your head back to center. Now turn towards your left shoulder. Center again. And you can keep your eyes closed if it doesn't make you dizzy, but if you get dizzy, you open your eyes. You all circle with your nose in the air. One of you. Big circle. Then you the different parts of your neck. Circle with the other way so you unwind the direction of going in the opposite direction. When you're complete, just bring yourself back up to the center. And we're going to move through cats and cows next. So your hands can stay on your legs, sliding them towards your knees, rattling down your neck as your chin tucks in towards your chest. And then inhale, lift your head up, roll your shoulders down, and push your sternum forward. So you feel this little opening in the front of your body and a little concave in the back. And now just move and breathe. So the exhale is when you go into your back shape. The inhale as you slide your hands towards your hip creases, push your ribs forward. Try not to let your head drop way back, but lift it up. 
Gently. Always like in my mind, I picture my spine as I do this and like how it's moving in my body. I wanted to share with you this month being Valentine's and Heart Health Month that we practice the first thing we do in yoga, the first yama is a place that we're harming. And if we're not harming ourselves, we're giving compassion to ourselves. So throughout the practice, maybe if you don't have an intention or dedication, Let's do one more of each cat and cow. And then return to the neutral spine. Bring your feet a little closer together so you feel more stable. We're going to inhale and lift your right leg and just point your toes up. And then exhale, bend your knee. Let, it, let the right foot hover. Inhale, stretch it out. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> it's not as crunchy today. I feel like it sounds less loud. Yesterday, was like, just observe these little nuances in our body. Maybe you can feel it in your abdomen too. More. And sit down on your right foot. Straighten your back, sit up again because we probably lost our posture. <laughs> and then lift up your left foot. We'll do the same thing. Spin it out, put your toes up, bend the knee, bring it back. Slow and steady. Spin out all the different muscles. Here. Or so doing good. One more pause it back up. Bring your hands off of your lap and you shake them out. And then we're going to lift the shoulders up towards your ears, push them back behind you, and then down, and then forward, and then back up. So try to go all the way around and these shoulder shrugs or shoulder rolls, whatever you want to call them. If you keep your elbow straight, you'll feel one sensation probably more in your upper chest. If you bend your elbows, it doesn't sound the same. So try both and see what it feels like with your elbows bent, and then try keeping your elbows straight. That's part of just like figuring out how things work. This way gives you my best. The elbows bend or straight. Straight. One more circle around. And then pause. We do some lateral stretches next. Take your arms out, float them out if you have four fingers. And then reach over here to the right leg. You're trying to get something off your nightstand. You know how that feels? And then reach up with the left arm. You're kind of pointing to your right leg, right hip. And come back to center. 
and then you're going to reach way out to the left and wave at your left leg and reach down your leg. This time, reach to your right. See if you can lift your left foot off the ground. Reach to your left, lift your right foot off. And now don't lean, just reach your left arm straight up and your right hand towards the floor. Exhale, reach down. See if you can point your fingertips towards the floor. Maybe look down towards the floor here with the neck. Stretching. Arms just aren't long enough to reach it. <laughs> and here to the left. And straight out to the side, and then softly lower on the neck. Straighten out your legs in front of you. Your head up. So imagine we're in the downward facing dog shape. So if we were on the floor, our feet or toes would be on the floor, but our heels might be up, and your hands would be out in front of you. Push your hands out of your same side. And then look up. And keep your arms where they are, and then look down and put your head in between your elbows. Push up through your thoracic spine, the middle of your Push out and look for that toes. And then inhale, reach your arms straight up, straight up. Do that again. Now lean forward just a little bit in this 45 degree angle. Put your head in between your arms. Push out through your palms, pushing away. And inhale, reach your arms back up. And then down and down. Lean back with your right. Lift the arms up. Now let's row our boat. Grab a hold of your oar and pull back at your balance. <laughs> Feel your muscles in your abdomen. <laughs> oh, every joint can pop. <laughs> One more. Multiple knees in that other foot, the left leg will point out. Arms will reach forward, keep your toe pointed, make a fist, pull back, row with one foot on the ground. One said cherry over was easy, didn't they? Two more. And with your hands on the lap, we're going to slide and take your time, slowly towards your ankles. And your chin tucked in towards your chest. Roll your, slide your face back up your legs. As you roll back up, when you get your shoulders on top of your hips, and with your head. We'll do that again. Exhale, slide down. Slide back. 
keep going and we're just going to walk around and show you what I want to do. Right down here, you can feel it right here as you come up. You want to stretch the shoulder lines. Yes, right there. So here's your shoulder blades. I'm going to keep it rounded right here as you come up. And then lift it. So here's your shoulder blades. Your chin down. We'll roll up, still push in, like create a space here. And then lift your head up. It really stretches that part out right here in the back. Now <laughs> Go slower. You're going to stay rounded. See the difference? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I <laughs> Sorry, I can't do all that. <laughs> Come back to the neutral stand. You bend your knees. Some of CT, which means balance pose. So we've worked on that part. Now I want us to work on the front. Take your hands back behind you. So you like your gut. I'm going to move back here. Lift your head up, not back. You want it up. And then you're going to lean it forward, lean over your knees, and then lift up your head again. Look to the sky. And then exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Now look down. Good boy. Look down. Down. And now sweep your hands towards the floor and then pull your arms all the way up to the side. Push your elbows, bend them towards your ribs. Puff your chest, bottom ribs forward. And then now we're going to close it off, elbow to elbow, as close as you can get. Inhale, open the arms, gaze up. Exhale, squeeze the elbows. Inhale. 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 Stay here. Take the bottom elbow down, put the left one on top, and then hold your shoulders. <laughs> you got it. Now I just want you to rock yourself a little side. <laughs> so the noise over there. Is that yoga makes you hungry. It really does. You're not supposed to eat full class because you ask. But if you do it with a full tummy, you don't feel like rolling or you don't like feeling like you feel sluggish. All right, now we're going to come back to center with our elbows, open them back out to the sides. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold over your legs. See where you can reach today. Three breaths here. If you're ready to come up, lift your head just a little bit and then bring your arms up. Use your legs to help you lift back up. 
and exhale back into your arms to the side. Elbows together and squeeze. Four more. Your shoulders down. And this one, you're going to take the left elbow on the bottom, right elbow on top, hold your opposite shoulder. And as opposed to going side to side, we're going to go up. And then we're going to tuck our chin in, point the elbows down in between the knees. Yeah, going up. And exhale. One more here. Bring your elbows out in front of you. Open your arms. Reach up. And fold yourself over your legs. And inhale, reach your arms out in front. Press into your legs, reach back up. Open your arms softly by your side. Close your eyes. Check in. Now, guys, we're going to come to standing in these standing postures and part of those. Rather stay seated, you can stay and watch. You can spring your chair forward and see if you can have it in front of you or to the side of you. We're going to start with our right foot stepping forward. Left foot is down and anchored so that it's sort of at a 45 degree angle. With both hip bones, if you put your hands on the hip bones, you feel they should be pointing forward, not one to this way. We're going to just keep our arms relaxed. And neutral so your chin is not up, down, or Face forward, bend into your knee, bring your arms. So straight, you're even more. Thank you. Two more. Yoga teachers hang out. We also don't know right or left. Step your feet back. Notice how that back leg had to do a lot of work. We switch out our feet so now the left foot is forward, right foot is behind. First thing we have to do is make sure your feet feel right. If your feet feel wrong, the whole rest of the pose gets messed up. When you bend your knee, your knee goes straight ahead. It doesn't go to the side. We're going to try to keep the knee going straight ahead. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Still, 
lowering the bands to straighten your knee. It's balance. Put your breath. Exhale. Two more. Seven. You can step back the way with this. It's going to be a little different. And make sure your feet feel good right where they're at. And then take your arms out. Take your left hand to your right shoulder and your right hand behind you and bend to the right knee. You're going to turn to the right as you bend your knee. Inhale, open your arms, straighten your knee. Exhale, bend your knee and twist to the left so your right hand goes to your left shoulder. Inhale, arms out to the side. Twist again to the right, left hand goes across your body and your knee. Inhale, arms out. Twist to the left. Center. To the right. Center. To the left. Center. Lower your arms. Let your feet come back together. The twisting makes it a little bit more balanced. Step your left foot forward, same poses. Arms come out to the side. Bend your knee, your left knee, as you take the right hand to your left shoulder and your left hand behind. Inhale, straighten your knee, bring your arms out to the side. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. <laughs> twist to the left. One more time, each side. Keep the mat together. And our next one we're going to do behind the chairs. We don't need that much space. Behind the chairs. Tell them the things you don't trip over. <laughs> So, as I said, we're doing heart openers today. I want you to keep your fingertips on the chair and think about hip distance apart. They can go wider, especially if you have any really tight low back issues. If you think where it's cranking back there, you might want to keep your arms apart. We're going to keep our hands on the chair for the first round. You're going to gently move your hips forward and keep your chin down and then straighten your back to neutral. Keep going. I'm going to show you what you're going to do here. Oh, my. So, if you have a wall in your house, you'll put your hands on the wall, back shoulder height, and you're going to do the same thing. Yeah, it does. We just don't have enough wall here for everybody. Plus, I can't think that that's on the wall, so they might not think. Right? But you can do that at home, even when you want yellers. But you can do it to, you know, back of the door, something. A little stretch here in the upper body, shoulders come down, the front of the heart up. Keep going. One more. 
Almost take your hands off the chair. Inhale, go up. Exhale, bring your hands to the back of the chair and step back your right foot. Watch the things behind you. And then bend your elbows, come forward. You'll feel the stretch of your left hamstring here. Leaning into it. Make sure your heels are a little stick there on the ground. Now inhale, lift your head, step your right foot back in. Inhale, your arms up. Set the hands back to the chair. Set back your left foot. Toes are facing 12 o'clock. Keep your back straight and your elbows forward. That space behind your right knee, don't block it out. Make sure it's like it's a little bit in the air. You don't have to like stiffen it. Slowly lift yourself up, step your feet together, reach both hands to the sky. And exhale, lower So hold on to the back of the chair with your fingertips. So step your right foot back. Those of you wearing shoes, just come to the tippy toes. And then bring your shoulders back and your chin down. There's this arch again in your front body. Let's see if you can lift up your left arm. <laughs> yeah, the other one. We're balancing. Let's see if you can bring it forward with your back leg to the the floor. Okay, reach your left arm up, lower your right foot. Lower your knee. Step back your left foot. Bring your head up. Shoulders down. Knees is forward. Right arm up with you. Reach in the right fingertips. So then lean forward. But it just floats up because it wants to. Foot room. Right again. Right foot steps back on your toes. Left arm comes up. Reach forward. Stretch it out. Left foot steps back. Right arm reaches up. Pointing at your waist, float, no force. Then the knees shake it out. <laughs> Next one is for the glutes, but it's also a hard opener. You've probably have seen this before. You're going to lift your right foot behind you with your knee bent. Take your opposite hand, your left hand, and just reach for your foot. You might not get it. No? It's back. Now bend your left knee. Bring your heel to the right. So you're just going to turn it that way. And then take your right hand and reach for it. So my belly is coming forward. I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is hard. Yes. If you got crazy, you just take it all off. 
Now, rather than doing the, the crisscross, we're just going to go right here, back, right, left. See if you can try that one. <laughs> Better? You can even hold the pants leg. Nope. Take that off. <laughs> On the other side. Hey, that's why yes. we have to run. Take it off. So, that pose, what we were doing is cancer pose. We don't know, we could do that in our Nyasa <laughs> Thank you. Same move. Just five years. Can't really see here. All right. Come up onto your two-beat pose. Keep the balance here. Bring your hands to either one hand or maybe two hands as you stay up on your top. Those of you with your knees apart, bring your thighs together. Now try it. It's funny how you can do that. I can't do that. I can't get any close. Well, that's because that's how your hips are. Our hips are not the same. The bones are. They don't lean towards us. You got to Take your feet apart and try. This is way unstable. Do y'all feel the difference? It's easier. You can uh, see. You're so different. Come back and have a seat. Well, we learned some things today about ourselves. Put your back up against the back of the chair. Put your feet with circle out those ankles at the knees. So when you're watching TV and you're sitting on the couch, do a couple of these throughout your day. Just sit down there. What is this group pose? The ankles. What we're doing right now. Good. Feel your calves as you do this. So it's moving the muscles in your calves. It's moving the, probably not so much these, but it definitely moves the calf muscles. Does it help with circulation? Yes, the neuropathy. Okay. Really good for that. If you don't know what neuropathy is, you can not know. It's not good. It's not good. No, it's not, it's not fun. Lift your right knee up, and we're just going to kind of rock this baby. <laughs> you can hold it anywhere it is. <laughs> Your right foot out to the right. Okay. You may have to scoot a little closer to the edge of the chair if you're short legged. Take your hands and erase them through the behind your back. And then keep your chin down, but lean back. Keep your chin down and just fold in between your knees. You can keep your head up if you get dizzy. If you're like, this one's great. Look under your chair. The inhale, keep your arms bound and lift your head up. Two more times. Down. Okay. Reach your hands. Take your left hand to your right leg and lean over to the hips. Take 
Take both hands to your left leg, even in this direction. Step your right hand in. Squeeze your knees. Lift your feet. This was a hard one, too. <laughs> feet. Lift up your left knee and we'll rock this baby. Whatever you can get. Set your left friend over here to the left side. Take your hands in or lace them, but one of you notice how we had them last time. Switch it out. This gen mindfulness, if you can remember. I always say if you can't remember what you were doing, but just do the way that feels weird because you normally do it the way that feels normal. Bring your knuckles to the chair, so your shoulders come down. Lift up. So come down in between your knees as slow as you can get. Option keep your head up or look down. Inhale, press into your feet to help lift you up. Two more. Exhale. Take so your right hand to your right, uh, left hand, and then the right hand on top will lean to the left. To the other side, right knee. Step your left foot in. Squeeze your knees, lift your feet. Oh, it is hard. Muscles here just are covered up with cakes and cookies, ice cream. But it got me for months. You know, you are on um, the rocking chair pose. Maybe force you up and down. Put your back up against the back of the chair. Notice your heart. Notice your heart pumping in your body. Just notice what it feels like to be alive in this present moment, right here, right now. Sharing this experience with others. Now bring your mind to the sole of your right foot. Without moving your right foot, without adjusting your right foot, just feel it, know it's there. Okay. 
And in your line, I'd like you to draw a line from your right foot, the bottom of your right foot, up your leg to your hip, through your lower organs to your heart. Just trace that line from your right foot to your heart a few times. Maybe you want to move into the sole of your left foot. Your left foot, your leg to your left hip, through your lower organs, or draw a line. Maybe make this line right here. Your sole of your left foot. Just keep tracing that for another second or two. Deep breath in. As you exhale out, relax both legs. Now bring your mind to the palm of your right hand. And you can see if you can notice the feeling of a heart You draw a line, a bright light line from your right palm, your arm to your elbow, your shoulder, all the way. Just draw this line a few times from your palm to your heart. Visualize your left hand, left palm. You can see if you can feel a little bit of a pulsing of heart beating. Then from your left hand, draw a line up your arm, your shoulder. Just trace that line in your mind a few times. Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out, and now from your shoulders down, then relax. Now I'd like you to imagine you have x-ray vision, so you can find the very center of your head, where your finger went away, right in the middle. Turn right, you went straight back from your forehead. 
between the eyebrows in the middle of my finger. And just focus in the middle of your head for Now, in your mind, draw a line from your head to your heart. See if you can visualize a bright light line going from your head to your heart and from your heart back to your head. Now take a deep breath in. And I want you to let it go. Feel relaxation all the way down from your head to your feet. Gently rock your head from shoulder to shoulder. This is we started with the neck. Relax your neck. You can get a bunch of different directions, anything that feels good. So pull it out. Slow down your neck movements, bring your head back to center. Bring a smile to your face, open your eyes, take your fingertips, place them on your, your sternum, your chest. And then open your arms out, lean back in your chair. And then exhale, touch your chest. Center focus and <coughs> option to lift your legs. Now take your hands to your knees, curl in like a little ball, try to tuck all the in. Relax your shoulders. Feel a stretch in your back. Keep your chin tucked in towards your chest, but lift your upper back. Let your shoulders get on top of your hips, bring your arms up and smile. Yeah. Hands to you. Hope you enjoy your practice. May you remember to stay heart focused, especially this month of February. Where maybe make more decisions in your heart instead of Thank you. <laughs>
as usual. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks, Chris. Oh, you're on mute, hun. I'll see you later. Oh, yes. Um, do, if can you send me a link to the recordings or remind me how to get to those? I will send one out. Yeah, okay. I was going to do that. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. Great. Thanks. Bye. Have a good day. You too.